Hey guys, welcome to another lunchtime review. Today I'm going to try one of these new Link Cuisine bowls. This one is 20% more ounces than their regular meal. This one is the Unwrapped Chicken Burrito. It is grilled white meat chicken with brown rice, corn, black beans, pul poblano, and red peppers in a creamy, creamy verde sauce, if I can talk. 24 uh, grams of protein, half cups of vegetables, 24 grams of whole grains, and it's gluten free, so there's no gluten in here. This one is a 10 and a half ounce or 297 gram meal. It's pretty decent in there. Um, we bought this at Kroger. It was $2.99. I'm sure they sell it at other stores, but Kroger just happens to be where we got it from. It's 340 calories to the entire bowl, which I don't think that's too awfully bad. Everything else is pretty decently uh, numbered. Protein's good. Uh, nothing else for me to see there. It's in the bottom. Okay, so microwave oven only. So we're gonna leave the film on the bowl. We don't vent it or anything. Cook for three minutes on high, stir and recover, then cook for another minute and a half, and then let it sit for one minute um, to let it finish off. So three minutes, stir, one and a half. So there we go. Uh, it's got some pretty decent amounts of chicken in there. There's one, two, three, four, Seven, eight, nine, nine or ten pieces of chicken in there, and two pretty decent sized ones. So, I'm gonna get this in the microwave uh, just like it is, not gonna vent it or anything, and I'll be back. All right, so here it is out of the microwave. I did let it sit for a minute uh, or so uh, before I uncovered it and brought it over here. So, looks good. You can see those peppers in there, that looks good. The chicken, pretty good sized hunks of chicken. There's some cheese in there you can see down there. See it? Um, yeah, looks really good. So, I'm going to let this cool off for a minute. Probably cut some of these bigger pieces of chicken like this into smaller pieces, and um, I'll be back. Okay, so I gave this time to cool off. So here's um, chicken and corn, peppers, the rice. I think I got a black bean in there. Yeah, there's one right back in the back. That's one thing I did notice as I was stirring this up. It says there's black beans, but it doesn't have a lot. So I think if you don't like black beans, you'd probably be okay because there are only a few of them in here anyway. So here we go. First of all, I like the textures. The chicken is really good and tender, not dry at all. The rice, the rice doesn't taste like rice. It actually tastes like that um, that other kind of grain rice. Um, I don't know what it is. It just says it's brown rice though. Hmm, I guess it's brown rice. Maybe I'm thinking about something else. Um, the pepper, I was surprised. The only thing that surprised me is it doesn't taste more peppery than I thought it would with uh, poblano and green peppers. Yeah, poblanos and red peppers, sorry. You would think it would be um, a stronger flavor of pepper, but it's really not. You get more of the verde sauce, which I know is a green sauce, but you get more of the verde sauce and the corn and a little bit of the pepper flavor than anything. Um, all that being said though, I do like it. I wish it was a little spicier for me personally, but um, but I do like it. It's, hmm. And when you get a, the peppery flavor, when you, I think you have to just get a lot of pepper like that to get it, um, it does taste good. I still think the flavors are pretty light. I'm gonna give it a three and a half. It's a little bit better than average. It's not quite as good of a four, but it's a it's a strong three and a half out of five. It's definitely worth trying out if you and if you're gluten free, don't even question it. If you need to eat gluten free and you like a like a taco burrito kind of bowl, um, go for it because I think you'll really like it. The um, I just wish the flavors were a little more bold. I can't taste the cheese really. The verde sauce is there, but it's really not. Like I said, I was expecting more of that really peppery kind of green pepper chili flavor and it really doesn't have a lot of that. It's really just mostly the rice, a little bit of the pepper flavor and you can taste the um, the corn in there, but that, that's about it. So um, so I think three and a half is good. Um, definitely worth recommending, especially if you're gluten-free. Hope you enjoy this video. Thanks for watching.